Good morning, it's the old fisherman. Back with you again on Lake Monticello. Hey, Thursday cold, didn't go yesterday, had to get my truck fixed. We back at it again on Lake Monticello. Let's see if we can catch a couple. We got a uh, star bright, uh, star light rather, slider jig above a, a spoon. And we're gonna try to just pull this thing around here and see if we can catch a couple. Might I sell a white perch? It's in the 20s, it's real cold. Uh, but we're gonna try to catch one today. Hopefully. Hey, we had a little snow yesterday. I wanted to go, but I couldn't go because my truck was messed up. Had to get it taken care of. But uh, hey, darn, there's one already. Just dropped straight down and caught one. You got to love that. Hey, you got to love that. Good start on Lake Monticello. Good start. The old fisherman. He's all bundled up again. Hey, mini mite, but hey, he's okay. Caught him on the starlight. Hey, they want that starlight. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie on Lake Monticello. We got a little breeze this morning. Ice is uh, on my in my eyes. And uh took off my gloves to uh, turn the camera on. I got to be hunting them. Hey, I can't stand it out here without these little gloves on. Not in the 20s with the wind blowing. Can't do it. Hey, well, we in a 62 foot of water right here. 62 foot. And we are gonna try to catch some doggone monocellar white perch. Hey, hopefully they'll bite. Who knows? Hopefully they'll bite. There's a bump right there. So I'm getting a couple bites. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. I don't know how long they'll bite, but it's a few down there. I see a few. And uh, hopefully we can get them biting. Hopefully we can catch them. You never know, though. These jokers here, they don't, you know, after a uh, little snow like that, they might not want to bite. And then again, they might bite. We don't know. Water's kind of mid-range, and here's another one. Home Lake Monticello. See what we can do here. People, you know it'd be real. Whoa, that's a jumbo magnum. What? It'd be real easy to set at the house. As old as I'm getting, bones are hurting. I keep on pushing, keep on looking forward with my nose to the wind and keep on going out here and doing what I love on Lake Monticello. It looks like my dog on camera's cop again. Doing what I love on Lake Monticello. I hope this thing's in here right. I see myself. I reckon I'm all right. Hey, camera, camera's kind of cocked here this morning. Maybe it'll be okay. Y'all bear with me. We get all our ducks in a row here. And doggone, they biting today now. Hey, they biting. You got to love that. Seems like they might be biting a little bit this morning. Lake Monticello. Now that ain't a big one there, that's a little one there. We are gonna throw him back. We are gonna throw him back. Looney ain't up here, so, hey, ain't got Looney to kid him, so he might make it back. Drop him back down with a big boy's lie on Lake Monticello. You got to love it. You have got to love it. The old fisherman, struggling. Let me tell you, it'd be mighty easy to sit by the fireplace and all my buddies up to eating breakfast uh, in the warm, and I, I say, y'all, I'm going fishing. They can't believe it. But I go on out here, and I try to catch me a couple on Lake Monticello. Hey, I believe they bite. I believe they're going to bite today. 62 foot looks like a good minute down there. And we're going to try to catch them. We're going to try to catch them. You know, after you catch a couple, it'll get where they're kind of immune to you. They ain't eating it up. They, uh, but I am getting a couple bites. Even though come around a circle swing, see if one of buck it. See if one of buck the old circle swing. Hopefully. Uh oh, they don't quit on me. That ain't good. Catch a couple and then the slack off. That's the way it's been beat. There's one. There's one. There's one. That's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. That's a jumbo magnum. You got to love it. The old fisherman's catching a couple jumbo magnums. It in the mid-20s right now. And 
we catching a few. Nice. Lake Monticello. Put it back down, see if we can get another one. But it'd be real easy not to come and just sit there by the fireplace. But hey, you got to push yourself. You got to have a reason to live. And my reason right now is my family ain't catching a few fish. And I make this fishing almost like a job. You know, I love it though. So if you got a job you love, hey, it's easy to do it. If you don't love it, it's hard to do it. If you hate to get up and go to work, it's really hard. So if you like that, I was like that for years doing electrical work. I hated to get up and go to work. But now that I'm retired, I still get up and, and, and make myself oh, make myself do it. But I'm fishing now instead of work. Hey, they bite. It's a couple down here. I believe they might bite today. I believe they might bite today. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. Oh my. What? And that's a nice one too. So we catching some pretty good ones today. But you got to, you can't let yourself give up. You got to keep driving in life. You let yourself give up, and then next thing you know, your health goes bad. I think if you keep pushing and keep having a reason, your health stays better. I think it's a lot in your, you know, you never know, but your mind control is the most important thing to make yourself do something and to focus on your life as a good, as a positive, instead of worrying about bad things all the time. Try to think about the good things and not dwell on the bad things. And that'll keep your spirits up and make your health better and keep you having a good reason to want to keep on existing in this world. And uh, hey, you got, to, you got to think positive. Fishing, anything you do, you got to think positive. If you don't think positive, it won't work for you. And mind control, people. I keep saying it. It's, it's important. When I get out here and I get out of the truck and it's in about 22 degrees, <coughs> I got to focus on catching fish. I can't focus on how that cold weather is biting me. I got to focus on catching fish. And that's what I try to do. Focus on the good things. Focus on the good things. All right, fish. Where you at? There you go. Oh, Lord, I missed it. He hit it. He hit it. They like that coming out of circle swing now. Do a little circle swing, see if we can get a nut. Lake Monticello, doing what I love and enjoy in my life. In my retirement days. Hey, we got a couple bites. They ain't really eating it up, but we got a couple bites. Maybe we beat on the meet on the boat and get them pulled in here. They're bumping it. They're bumping it. They ain't really eating it up. Cold weather fishing, though. Cold weather fishing, they sluggish. They just don't move as fast, and you can't move as fast. You got to pull it slow till you bump it. And they bumping it, but they ain't taking it now. They're going to that doggone hitting and missing thing that I hate so bad. They, oh, going it. They hitting it. They hitting it. They, uh, fine. No, he got all. Ah. Boy, I tell you, I miss a lot of fish. They keep telling me, some fella keeps telling me to get crappy nibbles, but I don't think crappy nibbles will work. It's like they just not sucking it in because it's cold weather is what it is, and I'm missing a lot of fish because of that. They bumping it about every time I move it. There's plenty of fish down there. It's just a matter of getting the right one to bump it. Or the... Hey, we got to try different things to get something they want. There you go. There you go. There you go. <sighs> Ain't no big one, though. We want some Jumbo Magnum. These are mini, mid-range. Some of them little, some of them nice. Mid-range fish here. Since Looney out here, I can, ain't here, I can throw them back. And they'll probably make it. Right now, we're in 58 foot of water.
Water temperatures is 48 degrees. It's dropped. Dropped two degrees or so since I was here the other day. 48. 48 degrees. Tell you what, you pull it quick, they don't want it. You got to go slow. Got to go slow. Hey, he is. Oh, boy, he hit it good. He hit it good. Not big he is, but he hit it good, ain't that? Oh, he got it. No, I still got it. We can say he got off. It must not be that big. Oh, no, he might be bigger than I think. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. Hey, he's a keeper. Yo, the skinny. A skinny fish right there. Got shad popping out the mouth. That's what you want, shad out the mouth. Lake Monticello doing what I love and loving what I do. Well, I had to have a new universal joint put in my truck and, and gears in the rear end and new brakes, all it. Hey. That joker, it's costing me a little money now. I got 205,000 miles on a 2,000 Chevrolet pickup truck, but I just want it. I like being able to have it hooked up to my boat and don't, and I, I got that, my Tundra, I just drive for pleasure. Of course, my wife's got an Equinox Chevrolet, but, uh, but I like to leave my old fishing truck hooked up. That way I ain't got to hook it up every time I want to go fishing, which is every day. Basically, show is nice. I'm getting bites. They just slow. Hey, they slow. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, my. What? They biting fast, but I'm, it's just hard to hook them. And they ain't all jumbo magma. But hey, they all bite. As long as I got a little action, little or big, it don't make no difference. Take them little ones, like I said before. You fry them babies whole. That's some good eating. But I got, I got enough fish right now. Oh, Lord, we got that Christmas tree effect up under there now. 54 foot, there's a pile of perch. So they starting to feed and they stirring up. And we probably going to catch a lot of fish today. I don't know how many jumbo mangles, but we'll weed them out. Try to keep a good mess of nice fish. Whole lake, Monticello. And they all bite. They all bite, but I ain't catching them at one time. You notice that? They're not hitting a spoon at all. They're only hitting a doggone crappy jig top. All they hit, I tell you, since they got them down there so thick, I think I'm going to throw out the three rig just and lay a lot of little fish. And that that they hit the spoon. But, uh, hey, I think I'm going to experiment a little bit here right now. I got a lot of fish under me. Let's put out the three rig and just see. Uh-oh. It's in the net. There it goes. I got a uh, blue and green uh, triple ripple on there and a, and a Mr. Crappy. <laughs> we'll see if they'll bite that. I like to give them a, 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 a put out something different when I know I got fish under me. Hey, who knows? They might want a different color. They might want the Mr. Crappy. The big ones might take the Mr. Crappy. Went to the store yesterday and bought me a uh, molten color gum shrimp. I like that molten color. Uh, it's funny, last year when I was catching more gut shrimp, you couldn't find a gut shrimp two inch uh, around Academy Sports around uh, Columbia. But uh, now that I hadn't been catching nothing on the gut shrimp and ain't been advertising, they got plenty of them. So I hadn't tried the gut shrimp. I, had, I hadn't had the, the molten color. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, on the three rig. If I can catch them, I'd rather catch them on the three rig. I might get a chance to catch them more than one at a time. They got two jigs. Now he hit the blue, uh, and they're small, but he hit the blue and uh, green, or blue and chartreuse uh, slider jig. I never had the blue and chartreuse. I bought a pack of blue yesterday. Give them a try. Drop her back down and hope we can get us a big one. We done pulled up here 50 foot of water, 50 foot. And a lot of fish out there, they just ain't the right size. 
There's plenty of fish, though. There's plenty of them biting. My old buddy Bobo uh, from Honey Path called me last night again. He wanted, he wanted to get him a T-shirt. I tell you, I run out of the double extra large blues, and I hate that. I got plenty of other ones, and I doubt I had a little, another lady wanting to know when I reorder to get some triple uh, triple X. I don't know if I want to reorder. I tell you, so I order all them shirts and put out all that money for them shirts, and then paying the postage half of the postage like I'm doing really ain't productive. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get any more shirts or not. That's a lot of work, a lot of running to the post office. I don't know. I still got about. I don't know, good many left. I don't know the exact actual number. I got a good many left. Until they sell out, I ain't ordering no more, I can tell you that. I just ain't gonna do it. And I'm sorry I didn't have enough double X. That's the problem with shirts. You got your money invested in mediums and lords, nobody wants any, so I got I bought too many mediums and lords, it looks like. All my fishing buddies are pretty good size. Uh-oh, Looney done showed up. That ain't good. Oh, Looney done showed up. He'll probably run the fish off. He'll probably run the fish off. If I had to guess. But thanks to all y'all that's been ordering. Uh, appreciate it. Go on stevecumberlander.com and get your shirt. And let's sell out of these shirts. Once I sell out now, I might reorder something else. But hey, I just spent over $1,000 to get my truck fixed. I can't be ordering no shirts. I had to go buy me another caching rod that I flipped out the lake. I, I throw my good caching rod in the lake just like I did the one the other day a couple months back and I didn't move fast enough to get it and it's the bottom of the lake. That's why I moved so fast the other day. I didn't want to lose nothing like that. You don't have time to think. You got to have quick reflexes. If you don't have quick, quick reflexes, it don't take but a second. That rod's out of reach. When it hits the water, it slows up a second and then it gains speed and down it goes. Now these fish done quit. I was on a few fish, now they're slacking off. They're they, they hitting it still, but they, they must be little. Move around here and try to find some bigger ones. You would think it'd be some big ones out here somewhere. I used to catch the big ones. Ain't, don't seem to be as many down there. And I could be caught them out or they moved around because of the cold weather. Could be done there. They'll move around sometime in this lake when it gets real, real cold. They'll leave and they'll come up to the hot part of the lake, uh, the hotter part of the lake. Uh-oh, he done bit the doggone jig off. That's doggone right. Bit the doggone jig off. I got to get down here and get me another blue jig. Bear with me. It won't bite that thing with the tail bit off. I got old blue and, and green uh, slider jig. I think that blue, that bright blue, is like almost like a, uh, a royal type blue. And I also got this doggone gulp shrimp. I'm gonna I'm probably put on the top. I ain't tried a gut tramp for so long. Might as well get one out and try it. Just see if they'll bite it. The old gut shrimp. So I'm gonna take that dog on. I ain't catching nothing on the Mr. Crappy. So I'm gonna take the Mr. Crappy off. Put the gut shrimp on the top for right now. And put the Royal Blue slider jig on the bottom. Now I got a quarter ounce head on the top. That's a big old head. And, and the bigger the head, hey, it, 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 it makes a bigger jig, but I think that the bigger head makes some, uh, makes it, it keeps it from wrapping up so bad. If you can get them to bite that bigger head, I think you're better off in the long run. 
But if they don't bite the bigger head, you ain't. So, and they they eating on little tiny shad, people. I tell you, tiny, 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 tiny shad. And a lot of times they hitting on tiny shad, they don't want a big jig. That's why that slider is better than the Mr. Crappy, I think, right now. Because the, the slider jig is smaller like the shad that they're hitting. So, this royal blue, I like that color. First time I've used the royal blue on a slider, I used the royal blue on a triple ripple, it works real well. So, royal blue with a green tail is what we got here. We're gonna drop it down with our Mr. Crappy at the top. We're gonna see how many we catch on the Mr. I mean, excuse me, the gulp shrimp at the top. I took the Mr. Crappy off. Uh, Old fisherman ain't focusing on what he's saying. Too cold to focus. Huh? Oh, it's too cold to focus. All right. Got it to the bottom where the big boys lie, and we're going to pull this thing around and hope we can get another bite. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Turn my little buoy back up there. I'm going to beat on the boat. See if we can stir something up. Look at that. I already got a bite. I already got a bite. Got to love that. See what size he is. See if he's bigger than what he's on. See if he's on the gut shrimp or the, or the slider jig. He's on the slider jig. The royal blue slider jig. I think it's going to be a winner for us. I'm going to get it all crooked though. I don't know what happened there? Things that got crooked as the devil. What? Got to do something there. That ain't right. Got all twisted up somehow. What happened? Bad job putting it on the hook, I reckon. Tell you, you need it straight on that hook now. Need it straight. All right, let's give it a try. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. I love that. Let's hope it's a big boy lying down there. I tell you, this cold weather fish, you got to deal with gloves and all that's aggravating. It ain't easy to come out here and do this. But hey, sun shining today, we ain't got the breeze is laying down a little bit. Hey, as long as it don't get too windy and the sun starts shining, it's okay. That wind in cold weather is what it gets you. And if it gets cloudy, it really gets you. Yesterday, I bet you I could have tore them up. Snowing, I bet you I could have tore them up. I ain't never been fishing and it was snowing and I didn't tear them up, let me tell you. But I couldn't go. Had my truck to deal with. And there's another. Might not sell a white perch, but he ain't big. He's kind of small, but I got him on the spoon. You see, all I'm catching on the, on the spoon is little babies. Them big ones ain't touching that doggone uh, <coughs> spoon. Woo, boy, there's a pile of fish down there. When you see fish come up like that Christmas tree is purple and yellows, you know that they pretty good. The yellow represents a real thick body. That's what your bottom is, or yellow. So if you got yellow coming off the bottom, that means a lot of perch or a big fish. If it starts getting purple and blues, then it's, they, uh, they're smaller, or they ain't as thick. They, they down there. There's plenty of fish down there, but I do not know how many jumbo magnums is in there. Okay? We're going to try to catch them. Though. We got, the, we got the fish for them. We know there's fish there. It hopes a jumbo magnum will hit it. There he is. Hey, there he is. I'm going to tell you, you get in them jumbo magnums, they'll hit that gulp shrimp. If you, them little fish ain't going to hit that gulp shrimp as good. So that's why I like a gulp shrimp and then a smaller jig on there, the combination. Now, there's, there's a jumbo magnum, and he's on. they all hitting a blue slider jig. Every one of them, they ain't touching the gut shrimp. I ain't caught a fish on the gut shrimp yet. Now, it could be that it's, it's, it's a higher jig on my line, and uh, <coughs> they hitting the one closer to the bottom. But I ain't caught a doggone fish on the gut shrimp yet. And that last year was what I was eating them up with, gup shrimp, tearing them up, gup shrimp. This year, ain't caught nothing on them. 
and you see it, I'm experimenting with, with, with the slider and the gut shrimp at the same time. I'm experimenting. There's plenty of fish biting. Plenty of fish down there. They just tell you. They down there. They got. Uh oh, he got off. I think. I ain't sure. I think he got off. I'm back down to see. Come up back down and see. All right, there's the bottom. Ease it up. There he is. There he is. They bite. Little. They ain't big ones. They ain't the jumbo bite. They mini mites. They mini mites, people. But they hitting that blue one and, and uh, short truth. They hitting that yeah. They like blue and short truth. Should have got a couple packs for them. All right, wind's getting up, getting cold. Er, that wind chill factor. Still got ice in my lines. It ain't above freezing yet. And the wind blowing. That's cold, cold elements. But we getting a few bites and we not thinking about the elements. I'm dropping it back down to the bottom. Let's see if we can catch another one. All right. Pull a little bit bump. He got it. They there. They just, if they was about a pound and a quarter, a pound and a half, they'd be something. That'd be some fun. Because there's plenty of fish out there. Plenty of fish. Just not the big. Let's do the couple out circle swing see if we can get one hit that shrimp. There he is. There he is. Let's hold it down there a little bit and see if another will come up again. A lot of times them old big ones are up higher. See if we can get two this time. I'm gonna hold it down there a little bit. Who knows? They might a big one might come up and take it. I don't think so. I think they only got one. I ain't sure. Unless we got two little ones. Ah, uh, we ain't got yeah, we got two little ones. What we got. Two babies. One of them might be a keeper. One of them's a loony fish. And one of them's a maybe a keeper. Got him on his phone. Alright, throw it back down. And see if we can catch another. What a cellar white bird. Beautiful day. My goodness. I tell you, this is the coldest winter we had in a long time. The water temperature last year never got below 55 degrees. 40s now. So that tells you how much colder it is this winter. We got a minimum six degree drop water temperature from last year already. And we got more cold weather coming. Hey, hey there are plenty of fish. Uh oh, golly, got off. Plenty of fish down there. There are plenty of fish biting. But I have yet to catch one on the gut trim. Y'all see that? That's sad, ain't it? Hey, it's okay. Them things are expensive in a house. Just, the uh, slider jigs are a heck of a lot cheaper. Get more in a pack. You can get your a whole pile of slider jigs for about four bucks or three dollars or something. Can't get but eight gut shrimp for about six. And change. There you Miss The little fish. You know, you would think around here somewhere is big fish. The big fish might be in a night shallower. Sometimes they'll do that. They'll move on up getting ready to spawn. Now, that is a nice one. Hey, that's a nice one. That might be a catfish. That's a nice fish, Jeff If that's a perch, that's a good one. If that's a perch, that's a good one. I can tell you that. That's a good one. That's what we're looking for there, and if that's a perch. Oh, yeah. That, my friend, is a jumbo super duck. Guess what I got him on? The gump shrimp. That, my friend, is a super dog magnum. White perch on the gut shrimp. Look how long that fish is. See, them big fish are hit that gut shrimp. And the reason I ain't catching them on that shrimp is because, by gosh, I ain't on the big magnum perch like I was last year. That's the difference. You get on them big perch, you can weed them out with that gut shrimp, and you catch all big ones because them little ones can't get it in their mouth. 
and it goes to show that a prop is still work. You get on the right fish. You know, the other day when I, I dove out there and, and swooped down and caught that rod, I'm going to tell y'all something. One time, I lost a rod, a fish took it out of the boat, and it kind of went out, about five foot out from the boat. And it was summertime, and I was younger, and I was in my bass boat. I was probably what, but about 30-something years old then. I dove out the boat and caught that rod about five foot down under the water. Come back up, got in the boat, and reeled the fish in. I'll never forget that. So I've had a lot of experience, uh, experience diving or uh, uh, catching rods. I ain't got too old to do that now, though. So I need to keep my butt in the boat. That's for sure. But, hey, that's why I don't, it don't phase me to get down on my knees in the bottom of the boat and swoop down and try to catch one. I have actually dove out the boat with my bass boat caught a rod one time and swam back to the boat. Now this boat, if you was to push out of it, it would, it would push the boat away a long ways. But that bass boat didn't. That bass boat didn't go far. And I was able, of course I can swim. I can, I can back pedal as long as hypothermia don't get me for a while. But it don't take for a little while for you to get kind of weak with that cold weather. That's another one. Huh? That's another one. Hey, fish are back today. We're going to sit here, and we're going to have to weed them out. This is a little one. But every so often, we catch a big one, and that makes it interesting. The little ones are hitting the doggone slider jig, and the big one hitting the doggone gulp shrimp. <clears throat> now, since that gulp shrimp's about four or three foot up, <coughs> it might pay me to put a little bit more slack on my line and extend my line back a little bit, a little bit more than a 45, go to about a 33 angle, and kind of just swim that gut shrimp, kind of drag it, and it come around a circle swing. We're going to try that this time. Maybe the big ones are hitting the gut shrimp like that. we got a little bit extra line out, okay? Now, we're pulling the boat. Already got one buffer, but we're pulling the boat. What we want to do is pull the boat in a kind of an angle. So we're getting that gut shrimp down more in front at the right level off the bottom for one to take it. Get a little bit more of a slant. What we doing. Now, we take and have a little circle swing, kind of pull that thing in a circle. Good chance a big one might hit it. A good chance we might not nothing hit it. <laughs> We done got up 55 foot now, a little shallower than what I was. So, hey, hey, that was a good bite. I missed it. That was probably a doggone big fish right there. That was a good bite. Got to get it back down to the bottom. They won't hit it unless that sponge laying on the bottom. Now, we're going to ease in the circle. Stay in. Dog, don't it? Miss him. Little circle again. Slack it off a little bit now. They ain't hitting like they were. I don't see them either. They come through here and they might be leaving on me. See if we can call them back in. See if we can call them back in. Start up off the bottom when I beat the boat now. I'm telling you. They hit it. They hooked them. Little ones. I'm guessing. Hey, dog, gonna. They hit it. They hit it. Dog, gonna. Rascal ain't taking it. Hey, can't hook him. 
I can't hook them. Circle back around, get the thing back on the bottom. I got too much of a slant now. Now you got down there, right? Get down to the bottom there. Now, pull it up one way. There you go. Oh, got it. I'm about to jerk my darn shoulder out in socket. They hit me every time I move. Just can't catch them. I mean, every time I move it, one buck. There you go. Tag gone. Killing me. It's killing me. Definitely down there. They just ain't believe I got a fish on there. I don't want to go. I got to reel it up to what's going on. I might have a little baby on there and not even know it. Yeah, see that? That was my bite. I kept getting a doggone fish on it. A little tiny baby. Huh. Throw it back down. Did we get them done? All that jerking the whole time the fish is on there didn't even couldn't even fit it. We'll catch a couple more and let you go. We'll start another film up. Maybe I'll get on some bigger ones. Maybe I'll get on some bigger ones. All right. There's the bottom. There's the fish. I already bite They're just little. Bottom. Bump. They bump it right now. They just tall. They hit. They're just little babies. I get in the big ones. I, I guarantee I catch them. That's a nice one. Hey, that's a nice one. Look at that. That's a jump boat magnum. That's the kind we're looking for. Right there. That's what we're looking for right there, people. Jump boat magnum. That's what the old fisherman's want. Right there. Is what the old, it caught him on the gut shrimp. Right there proves that the big ones will hit that gut shrimp. And the little ones that's playing around with that doggone little uh, slider jig. That's what's happening. Catch the big ones on the gut shrimp. Drop back down. <clears throat> that little slide of jig is, is enticing the little ones to bite more. Is what it is. And it's way down the more little ones out there than it is big ones. <coughs> That's why the bigger ones I'm catching on the gut shrimp. Because the little ones ain't touching the gut shrimp. And old big one will reach up and get it. What's happening? No question. The bigger the plug, the bigger the fish. You get in all big perch, you jump shrimp, probably be the way to go on this trap. Bigger jigs. No big bass or catfish will probably take them bigger jigs better too. They bump it. Every time I go to move one, you barely touch it. Oh, oh. They biting it, I'm telling you, they bite. A lot of little ones. A lot of little ones. You got to weed out the little one and get to a big one. What it is. You can tell when a big one hits, he got a bigger thump to it. Them little ones just tapping it. There you are. There you are. There you are. That's another knife. I bet you he's on the gut shrimp. Unless I got him snagged. Could have him snagged. No, I ain't got him snagged. Good gracious. Look at that. Look at that. Got him on the doggone uh, slider. Big old perch. Huh. What? See, there's some good ones out there. There's some fish out there that we looking for. So you got to keep on until you catch a big one. You got to weed through the little ones to catch the big ones. What we do. Appreciate all y'all watching my show. Hey, I, I'm getting a lot of great comments. 
I got people look forward to actually watching the old fishermen fish. And that's why I set it up. You know, you can go on the daily fishing trip or every other couple days, whenever we go and catch some. If I catch them, I'll have it daily. But I generally try to go daily. <laughs> I love fishing. I don't go but a few hours a day. I don't go all day. I'll fish till about Lawrence, one o'clock, and I start eating out of him. I didn't get in late this morning because it was so doggone cold. I went by and got a little breakfast and, and talked with the guys a little bit and then headed on over here at 9 o'clock and I got here. So it was, hey, low 20s this morning, if not in the team. And it's, it's not any hotter now because the wind's blowing. And, uh, but the fish are back. They're just little. If we be in them jumbo bathrooms like I was last year, all the jumbo bathrooms, we'd be wearing them out. Cause I'm, I'm getting bites. I'm getting bites. I can tell you that right now. I'm getting plenty bites. I got to learn to slow up bringing it up. Maybe I get a big one on the way up on the other gear now with the three rig. One thing about three rig. If you hook a fish on the three rig, you need to slow up. A lot of times, that's two, but they're two little ones. A lot of times I get in a hurry. I don't focus on slowing up. And then I really too doggone fast after I get a fish to get the fish up here. And that's a no-no. You need to you need to take your time reeling it up after you've got one on there and let him swim around a little bit down there and then he catch another one. That's the key of getting a lot of times that second fish is going to be the big fish. That little fish or the other fish will have the jig switching back and forth in a different manner like he's dying, and that's when they'll take it the best. So it's important once you hook one to not reel him up so fast if you want another fish. Now let's let's try it again and see what we can do. There he is. He missed it. Boy, I'm missing so many. They bite good. They just they just little. Look at that. They bite just as soon as they go to move. So they feed today. At least right here they feed. Ain't no guarantee to feed no somewhere else. Like I said, I stopped out in the lake. I ain't catch nothing. And I had to keep moving until I found these fish. And we own some fish in here. And it's a few big ones in here. Uh, not another boat out here today but me. Not another boat on the third. <clears throat> You got to be the toughest of the tough to come out here with temperatures in the low 20s and, and to go fishing. So sure is easy to do something else in the warm. You got to have the passion and the love for it to do it. And that, my friend, right there is a tough Spotter, fella, nice super dog magnum, I hope. Oh, wait. Spotter, fella. We are starting to catch a few nice fish. And guess what? He's on the gut shrimp with a quarter ounce head. 